I, I want to get to some of that, but uh, Congressman, uh, talking about politics, the Republican sure. House majority tried to pass a piecemeal continuing resolution that would have paid for the Veterans Administration. It needed two-thirds of the votes in Congress to pass. You were among the minority who voted against it. Uh, again, why? If we could at least deal, at least partially with the veterans, why not vote in favor of that? And a day later, I voted for the same bill on a, uh, uh, the first one was a procedural motion, the second one was the bill itself. But we've passed in the House of Representatives eight appropriation bills since the shutdown. They deal with very small parts of the thousands of issues that are in the federal budget. At the rate we're going, it'll be 2020 before we actually fund all of government. And John is quite correct. Veterans are affected by a variety of programs. It's not just the veterans benefit, but it may be the wife, it may be the school to which the child is going. Perhaps the child was in a Head Start program. That's shut down. Perhaps there was a, a medical program outside of the veterans for the rest of the family. All of those things are, could possibly be shut down. You can't go at this piecemeal. We've got to fund all of government. The votes are there. The votes are on the House floor. Anytime Speaker Boehner wants to bring up the bill, uh, if he would just allow the bill, let his people go and vote, this thing would pass, this shutdown would be over tomorrow morning, be over one hour after that vote, and we can get people back to work. But the problem cannot be solved with these one-off eight bills in eight days funding just eight specific programs. And among those programs, you're quite correct, was not the death benefit program that did fund the pay for the military, just a part of the total military budget. Can't do it that way. You've got to do it all. Well, and we but, need that, and we can point, do it. To that point, yes. let's listen to what you, you both mentioned, uh, Secretary Shinsheki. Uh, let's listen to what he uh, said today, calling for a continuing resolution that would fund the entire government, because he said the VA could not function without a number of his partners. Very little of what we work on in VA originates in VA. Uh, much of that originates in another department. Health care, education, employment, insurance, housing for both the homeowner and the homeless does not occur without significant coordination with DOD, with Housing and Urban Development, HHS, Social Security, Treasury, Education, Labor, the IRS, Small Business Administration. So again, John, uh, veterans, uh, in, in your mind, will continue to suffer unless the whole government reopens? We were only created by the federal government. No state created us. Only the federal government voted uh, and chose to send uh, people like me to war. And only the federal government can help us. And so unless the entire federal government is open, uh, veterans are going to continue to get hurt. If, if, to give me an example, if, if you're a, a military retiree right now, you lose your pension in two weeks, and, and if you've passed away and your wife is there, she loses uh, her husband's pension or vice versa, or whatever it is. If you're going to college on the GI Bill right now in two weeks, it's over. If you lost both of your legs in Vietnam, the VA will no longer be able to pay your disability benefit. If you uh, suffer from Agent Orange and you finally were able to do a claim because the Obama administration opened up the claims process, but you also have PTSD, you're going to continue to wait for your second claim. And all of this is because you know, they opposed the bill that actually Obamacare, you know, would have provided insurance to over a million uninsured veterans in this country. So unless they fund the entire government, uh, we'll have this problem because I don't think anybody in Congress actually realized they weren't funding death benefits. And it just shows the lack of knowledge that, that, that we have, uh, unfortunately, with a lot of elected officials who haven't been a part of the military. And Congressman, Secretary uh, Shinsheki also brought up something that John brought up briefly a few minutes ago. He said the shutdown would affect the VA's ability to eliminate the backlog in veterans' applications for services. Now, how significant is that? How big is it and how significant an issue is that for veterans? Well, it's a huge problem. We really owe these veterans quick, speedy uh, service on their claims. But right now, the backlog is horrendous. There's been a major effort by Sinsheki and his operation to try to reduce that. They've made progress. But right now, all that progress is being lost as each day of this shutdown goes on. The number of claims are simply stacking up once again. And it's going to take even more effort to bring them back into, uh, into line. A major problem in my district, I have two Air Force bases, a lot of retirees, a lot of veterans, and they're hurting all across the board. John said it so very well, as did uh, General Sinsheki. There's a very complex set of support for veterans. We owe it to them. We owe it to the American people, really to this entire world, that we get the 
government back in operation. This is, after all, the strongest country in the world, and the government is shut down. How crazy is that? But that's where we are. Speaker Boehner can solve this problem in half a minute. All he needs to do is to call a session, let his people go and vote. The, the Democrats have 198 votes ready to go. The moment he calls us back, we only need another 20, even less than 20, uh, Republicans, and we're back in operation, knowing that we're yet going to have another problem out ahead because we do have to deal with the larger problems of the overall budget, the fiscal issue, the deficits. All of those things need to be dealt with. But the president is very, very clear. He's not going to hold the American people, all parts of this country, including the veterans, as ransom for the demands that the Republicans put forward to terminate and Affordable Health Care Act, which, as John said, provides the potential for health insurance to more than a million veterans and another 39 million Americans beyond that. But the Republicans argue that the president isn't negotiating and that they could, if they, at least they sat well, down and talked about things, that they might find some solution. And John, you posted a statement on the Vote Vet uh, uh, website that reads in part, the idea that Republicans in Congress can toss crumbs to some government services at the expense of others is a non-starter for veterans and for the nation. We rely on a wide array of government services to be up and running like all other Americans, uh, as we discussed earlier. I guess the question is, is this purely a partisan issue, though? Don't Democrats share some of the blame for the shutdown? No, absolutely not. I mean, it's they, they, uh, John McCain says it best. The Republicans could never defund Obamacare. And so the Republicans chose to not send the, you know, this budget forward. And, and if we have a clean vote right now on the budget, it would pass. And so let's just pass the budget. There's there's no, absolutely no way. And at times I've blamed Democrats for a variety of issues. But on this specific situation, uh, you know, if the Speaker of the House would vote on a budget, we would be back in business and our veterans would have what they need tomorrow. They just don't want to fund uh, certain parts of it. And that's just, that's not how this country works. I mean, this is a nation of laws and a constitution. And Obamacare was passed by both chambers of Congress and upheld by the Supreme Court and the president validated an election and so really they're holding our veterans and our military hostage uh, over some ideological crusade and it's 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 unprofessional and bad governance. Well let's hope that uh, however this uh ends, that uh, it ends soon and that veterans do not suffer as a result of the government shutdown. Congressman John Garamendi, Democrat of California, and John Soltz of Vote Vets, uh, appreciate you both joining Thank us you. tonight. Thanks.